walking in. Hey, oh, man, you're kicking tonight. Kicking. Incredible concert. I've never seen so many screaming women in my whole entire life. It was amazing. So how are you feeling, superstar? Great. Yeah? Great. Okay, good. Hold on to that feeling, because you're going to need it. Okay, you guys, we're going to have to be really, really cool, okay? Because Sonny's on his way over. Thank you. We're going to have to hit him with this whole Frank Cepeda deal in a way that it's going to work for us. Hmm. How is By that? By convincing him to sell L&V to Cepeda. Lois, this is your chance to dissolve your partnership with Sonny. I don't want to sell my company. I don't want to give you up. I don't want to give up Mary May. I don't want to give up my Eddie. No, I, you see, I much prefer the second scenario, you know, which is... Sonny refuses to sell, which is in conflict with my decision that it's creatively best for the company. He's in violation of the contract. The partnership is over. But if he goes along with the sale, please keep an open mind. Cepeda is reputable. And he also promised you creative control. Hello? I already have creative control, and it's ironclad. I don't want to take any chances with that. Okay. Listen, I think we should just... Let's go with the idea of trying to motivate Sonny to block the sale so he'll step all over your creative control. I bet you anything he won't let go. I think you're right. Oh, gosh, I hope that's Sonny. We need to set the groundwork before Cepeda gets here. Okay? Bravissimo concert. Sonny? Yeah? Why don't we just get right down to business, okay? I have really big news. He's a big cheese, Sonny. And he is seriously interested in making L and B huge. Anybody who's ever bought a CD knows who Frank Cepeda is. So, what'd you tell him? That I have creative control, but Sonny Corinthos owns 60% of the company. And up until now, he's been unwilling to sell. And why do you think that has changed? Because he is offering major money. It'll also give me a chance to step up and start doing business with the heavy hitters, which is a dream that I've had my entire life. It's also a fabulous opportunity for our talent. Real promotional budget. Major tours. I mean, why else are we doing this if not to make them into stars? Hey, well, I think I've bankrolled some decent action for ours. Uh, you know what? You have, Sonny. Nobody's trying to take that away from either one of us, mm -hmm. okay? But Frank Cepeda can give them the exposure we never could give them. And we are not talking about kids posting bills on construction sites. This guy is the real thing. So, you'd be happy, they'd be happy, where the hell does that leave me? investment and walk away with a substantial return. I've torn up one of your checks already, Ashton. Yeah, but this time it is not Ned's offer. He's an outsider. Frank Cepeda has no personal axe to grind with you. This is purely business. And you'd rid yourself of a major headache. That's a promise I can make. Something else you might want to consider, Sonny? Yeah. <clears throat> As part of the deal, Mr. Cepeda wants to book Miguel as the opening act of a major tour. He'd have to leave to South America right away. For how long? Three months. I would go with him. I'm not interested.
You gonna let Mrs. Spade in or should I? Your offer is not only flattering, Mr. Spade, it's generous. But you're not biting. We've put a lot into this company, my partners and I. Miguel, in particular, is a commodity that's just about to make our efforts worthwhile. Now, I understand you can do a lot for him, but it's very difficult for me to simply turn over an asset that's just about to become a cash cow. The idea of sending him off to South America for an extended period of time, may, even if one of us were to accompany him, it's not what I had. And I can't convince you. Well, you know what? Why don't you please just give us a few more minutes amongst ourselves and uh, give us some time to go over all the ins and outs. Okay? Absolutely. Okay. I'm staying upstairs. Okay. Call me if you reach a decision. We will do that. Let me Thank walk you into the elevator. Taylor. Oh, that's good. I'll right back. You know, Corinthos, this, this is not a game, you see? Miguel! I mean, this is my life, this is my career you're dealing with, you see? Maybe you should have thought of that before. Before what? Before you stuck it to the bus. You're Girl. such a bastard. Puta. Oh, no! No, Miguel, no! 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 Huh? No! Ah, come on, come on, come on, do it! Ah. Go away, man! I got to get in the car, huh? No! You're gonna get it that way. I'm gonna cut that face of yours right now. Come on, come on, boy! Luis? Sunny? Luis? Come on, 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 come
Sorry, Brenda. That won't work. What do you mean, that won't work, Ned? Well, you have a contractual obligation to deception. And the Christmas campaign is coming up, plus there's the tie-in with Miguel's video. You can't take off now. Ned, I don't want to be here. Brenda, you're a businesswoman. You're not a groupie. And we have to reconsider. Wait a minute. Are you going to let him miss this chance? Brenda, are you willing to risk another scene like tonight, except maybe next time it's going to go a little too far? No. She's right, you have to go. Yeah, but I'll be gone for a long time, Brenda. I'll miss you for a long time. Okay.